pull you out and uh, and die because I'm clearly not thinking right now. Okay. Now, can't do that. You know what I can do? I can salvage this. I can salvage this. Check it out. There it is. Done. Easy. First try. These uh, NASA scientists that I've hired as a side gig to their work in the field of space. Easy. Done. They're doing wonders. They're telling me what way to go and how to do it. I love it. Uh, Alright, so nice little base there for us. And just so that we're on a bit of a safe side, I will grab this. Now that monster block moved in my way, but it doesn't matter because things are going to start getting consumed. Alright, well you know what? They gave it to us. And... Sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> uh, you dum-dums. No, 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 no. Mm. You jerk. How dare you. How dare you. Okay, this guy's gonna be problematic. Just gonna ignore him. He's gonna follow us. Not for long, sir. Okay. This is gonna be a nightmare. Why am I recording this? Why am I... <laughs> okay. Whatever, no big deal. Uh, we did okay, but the dual pedestals? You know what, man? I'll take it. Why not? Here I, go. I love that crescendo. It's so good. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Allison Cruz, and that was the third sphere, the great trial of the forked cliff, and now it all makes so much sense. But now... I have been climbing this entire time, and it's getting increasingly more difficult to understand what you're saying there. <sighs> hmm. You still haven't died? You really have quite the luck. But Lady Luck can't help you now. It's the real goodbye next time. Now prepare to die. Well, you know what? Lady Luck's got nothing to do with it, because I'm single. <laughs> Oh man, uh, I cracked myself up. So, uh, continuing onwards, depending on what you picked for that first answer, will determine what you'll be able to pick here. And going for the obvious true chaos ending, the answer should be simple. So let's see it. <laughs> Good, Vincent. The way you climb is a work of art. I can't let anything slow me down. We've come this far. There is no correct answer to this trial, so I'm going to ask a question of you, who has made it this far. I'm going to ask you one more time. This is the third question to freedom. Do you wish for the excitement of chaos? And again, this should really come as no surprise to anyone if you're heading on a path of true evil, although you can still get two Catherine endings with this setup. So pick what you feel is correct in your heart and you'll take the path that is pretty obvious at this point. Do I wish for the excitement of chaos? Well, let me tell you folks, I do. <laughs> I see. This is the midway point here in heaven. I'll take you to the next try. I'll be praying for a good performance and for your success. It's nothing to do but climb. I'm getting out of here. Man, I love it when that part is short, because I know in some of the quote-unquote later stages that I've already recorded, but that you guys haven't seen yet, uh, they get very long and it is really bothersome. So, of course, a lot of people say they do not wish for that excitement, even just men. Women are more or less on the same page, but... It's probably to be expected. At this point, a lot of people are just trying to get all of the endings, and so results are a little mismatchy, but... The fourth great trial is a narrow path to the final battle. The floors will crumble quickly. Use all your cunning to sprint your way to the top. Okay, so it's not the five block high stage. Just keep climbing then. Commencing area four. 
Are you ready? Uh, I would certainly hope I am ready. Please and thank you. Oh no, I remember this one. Okay. Am I to make more dumb input mistakes? No, I'm not. Not this time at least. How dare you. Okay, so... Some poor souls have already died to this point and I've screwed up. So let's... Ooh, that guy's gonna be there. What is he doing? Okay. Uh... New plan? This is gonna be kinda gross. Don't like this. Uh... We're gonna have to essentially do this. That's weird. I have a feeling that's not the way they want us to do that. But it does seem like we can just go ahead and try that. And easy peasy. Okay. We did not crumble the infrastructure of our base here. Although, we do have to blow up something. I hate it. Why did it have to be this way? Okay, I'm gonna try this. This might actually work out for us. Just get up there fast. It's not a big bomb. Big bomb bossa nova. But we're fine. We're fine. All we have to do is run, use our cunning, and watch him die. Oh, what? There it is. Thank you. I was gonna say, man, why did he not die? <laughs> Also, you screwed up all of my plans. You've spoiled them. And actually, we could probably just do this and not waste time. I want that. Thank you. That's why I got rid of my bobble. There it is. My bobble. And this is going to be dumb. This four. Yeah, with these twos, you definitely need to stick them out a little bit. Hmm. So, I would say let's mm, probably try this. I was expecting to pull out that four, but I didn't need to. Much like we don't need to pull out this uh, thing right here. But we probably, we probably should. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, now, you're going to be hanging out right there. There's been a lot more of you than I remember. I hope I don't see him up ahead. Did he, di did he hit a trap? <laughs> That's amazing. I love it when that happens. Things just happen off screen. Okay. So he's going on that side. I've screwed up because I can't stamp on that black hole block. So what we can actually do here, there it is. Um, using the shimmy to get on other sides of these Tetris ass blocks is a little tricky sometimes because for some of them you can't do it and there is an energy drink. I, I do want that one though. I think I will grab it. Uh, just be, just to, you know, make up for the one that we lost before because I'm bad and he was hanging out there. Now, this is going to be tricky, so we'll grab it like that. Because that one would have uh, crumbled immediately when we stood on it, so we're fine. The energy drink has been avenged. Uh, speaking of Avengers, uh, slight spoilers for Endgame, but I made a reference to it with that uh, Steve Rogers meme. You know it. And I accredited it to Matt Damon and Saving Private Ryan. It was not. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. You guys are going to catch that in 15 episodes. But, wow, that was dumb. <laughs> that guy. Uh, but, yeah, it's that no, I, th I don't think I will meme. And I was like, oh, that's Matt Damon from Saving Private Ryan. It's not. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Okay, this is going to be uh, really stupid, I think. Ugh. So let's just, I'm just trying to see what way they want us to go up without being too stupid. Now we have to retry this. Okay. Actually, we could do this easily. Um, there we go. Now we're back up to this point. Ooh, already. Okay. Again, in the Rin path doing this one, I missed one of the golds and that bothered me. So I'm sure if it bothered me, it probably bothered someone else. So... We'll make sure not to forget it this time. And we are set, ladies and gentlemen. On to the next landing. At 100 steps, baby. We escaped once again. So this next stage should be the one. Yes. Oh, it is fine. Thank you. I appreciate you. Looking out for me there, Mr. Astroth. I, I swear I always thought it was a woman. Wow. To think you have this much will to survive. Very well. Just as I said, 
I, Thomas Mutton, shall be your opponent. Next time we meet, your life will be over in no time. <laughs> I mean, if you keep saying it, I'm sure at some point it might be true, but uh, for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final point to which your options will matter, and then you're dedicated to the end. So once again, let's save. I feel bad that I keep overwriting all of my previous saves that I probably shouldn't be, but ladies and gentlemen, depending on what options you pick at this point, um, we're going to start committing to an ending, so let's step inside the confessional for one second to last time and prepare ourselves. <laughs> it's entertaining to witness someone becoming a legend. It doesn't happen often. First, I must praise you for having survived thus far. This bullshit again. What do I have to tell you this time? What makes you so desperate? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna get back what I lost. Hmm. Now let me ask. What are you living for? What? What's the point of asking questions at this point in your game? Life isn't so simple that I can just boil it down that easily. Just... who are you? What do you mean? Uh-huh. That's the curse. There's no escaping this place without having an answer of some sort. You may be different from the average man, but that doesn't mean I can let you go. I'll hear what you truly wish for. This is the last question to freedom. Are you prepared to live the rest of your life in the excitement you wished for? All right, you guys, this is where it matters. And based off of my choices and the fact that we are so far in the red that it would be impossible for us to not get the true chaotic ending, I think our options are pretty clear here. Are we prepared to live an exciting life forever? Being the keyword. In the words of Matt Damon from Saving Private Ryan, hell yes. I don't actually know if he said that. <laughs> That's your answer. All right, I understand. Everything is prepared now. I can finally guide you to the stage where you'll fight him. There was once a man who took up this challenge, just like you. This man became a legend. He stopped being human and became one of us. <laughs> yes, he is Thomas Mutton, the one awaiting you at the next trial. Now that he has become one of us, we call him Dumuzid. All the traps were created by him. He knows this place through and through, making him a difficult opponent. So he used to be a human. Well, I'm not gonna lose to him. All right, you guys. Once again, I, I will still contend that this is probably one of the best regular boss fights of the game, and I'm excited we get to do it again. So, many people are prepared to live an exciting, chaotic life for the rest of their life, specifically men, but on the other end of the spectrum, women not so much. That doesn't surprise me. Not in a bad or conniving way, but I could see men living more on the edge, if not only because they dummies. You will now be faced with the creator of the Great Trials. Use all the techniques you've learned to avoid his fierce attacks. The time has come. <sighs> Starting to lose your nerve? You'd actually make it here. That was a marvel to watch. Well, it seems the others were altogether too easy on you. So for tonight's extravaganza, I shall deal with you personally. And you remember our deal, right? As I said, you have nothing to be concerned with. After all, tonight you'll be dining with my mutton sweat. It's a pity, but try not to get too worked up over it. Shut up! Let's get this over with already. I'll outrun you, too. Catherine, wait for me. Thomas Mutton has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Oh, 
weird. I, I see even less incentive to try to grab that gold down there than before. But here we have our thinking chair sitting in. Smug ass face asshole. Thomas Button to deal with once again. He's going to continue to shoot his business at us. And uh, apparently taunt us without shooting at us. But maybe we'll get shot. We'll get caught in the crossfire. And we're going to have all of our, uh, our movement... Uh, paused, briefly taken away from us, as well as my speech, apparently, as I try to concentrate. Anticipate where we need to go next, lose control, and this guy, this wise guy. Try that one more time. No, not this time, my friend. Oop, no, why do you have to go for the one that I just... God damn it. No, no. <laughs> okay. We can just do that. Undo it to make life easy for ourselves. And I gotta tell you, man, I love the undo button. I wish that it was in, in Babel. Because for those of you who haven't played it, and I'm sorry that I keep talking about it, but um, my uh, PlayStation control, I don't think it's even... Oh, this is dumb. I don't think the PlayStation control really reads the inputs in this game very well. And I think it's just this game, because I was fine on the 360. Yet now, it's just like, I feel like they're constantly getting eaten, and it's not just my one controller. I thought it might have been, but I don't, I don't know, man. 